High Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And to those of you that are cross-watching as well, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see uh, who is coming into your life next. What will your next major relationship be like? With who will it be? Um, you know, when is this person going to be entering your life? We'll see if we can try and get as much detail. Is this a past energy? Is this a new energy? Yeah, we'll see what the messages uh, reveal to you here. I do want to mention, guys, that there is going to be a part two to this reading, which is going to be made available to you all via the extension link below. I also want to squeeze in that I am doing personalized hair reading, so if you're interested in getting a reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire, and you'll be able to contact me just via the email address, which will also be listed below the video here, just where that show more section is. All right, guys, otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look and see who is coming into your life next. What will this connection be like? Does it have staying power? Is it going to be a fleeing romance? Let's just see what the cards reveal, shall we? Okay, I'll take these. Okay, now, for some of you watching, this does feel like the return of a past energy, okay? It might not necessarily mean that this is an ex or a form of flame coming back into your life, but I do feel like for some of you here, this is someone whom you might have been briefly connected with in, um, in the past here. Now, maybe you guys were just romantically and very loosely involved here. Um, maybe you guys only just sort of, you kind of... You know, you were speaking, but things never really took off for whatever reason. Um, this could be someone that you have known maybe from a very young age here, from your childhood days. And this is someone whom I feel like you might possibly get a chance to reconnect again with. And I feel like this is going to happen a little bit sooner than later here. Now, for some of you, I do feel like maybe this is, this is a past energy that you've met online. Okay, and maybe look... Maybe you guys got to talking, maybe it was on like a dating platform or like social media, something like that. And I feel like maybe you guys, you know, there was a lot of digital communication, but maybe you've never met in person. Now, this could also be um, due to the fact that, you know, there's this, there was this long distance. There was this body of water between the two of you. So maybe this person lived in another country, another city or state. And, you know, given the pandemic, it wasn't necessarily easy for the two of you to meet and come together. So there was some sort of... A, feel like there was some sort of barrier here that created this wedge, this separation for some of you. Maybe this person was someone who, you know, they lived overseas and they had to go back here. And unfortunately, the relationship really never got a chance to be fully explored here. You never really got a chance to, or maybe it's not that maybe you never really got a chance. It's maybe that you were a little bit scared to, okay, because you knew that they were going away soon or that they were working overseas it just feels like something he kind of got in the way of the two of you both really exploring this connection bottom of the deck you have the fool's energy so if this is a past energy for some of you i feel like this person is coming in as a brand new energy and stepping into your life in this kind of energy i feel like this is someone who might want a fresh emotional start 
okay and I also feel like there's something so destined about this person coming back into your life now you didn't you know, for whatever reason, maybe you were robbed of the opportunity to really get to know one, one another. You know, maybe time, space, distance, you know, just life in general got in the way. But I feel like the universe is saying you guys work and the universe is vouching for you. And I feel like this um, this is like a second chance, like a bit of a do-over is what I'm seeing. So it does kind of feel like a familiar kind of energy. It's like this homecoming or this reunion type of energy um, it's not for everyone but for some of you so some of you it's a past energy um, and I feel like this is someone whom you were emotionally invested in or it's someone whom I feel like you were really keen and very you know excited to get to know but unfortunately life got in the way here um, the four of wands also does indicate that your next major relationship so you know we're not necessarily um, meaning your next fling okay so you might have a few flings that you'll you know fling in between then but I feel like your next major relationship is going to be one where I feel like it's going to be um, it feels like a divine love and it feels like this is there's a lot of joy there's a lot of harmony um, a very a lot like a very strong energy of harmony and happiness that this person is going to bring into your life the Four of Wands shows two very happy people dancing and celebrating their love for each other here. So your next relationship might result in the both of you standing in front of your castle walls, your home that you've you know built and created together here. Um, this is someone whom you might potentially get um, end up getting engaged to and possibly you know also um, marrying. This is someone who I feel like you're going to build a life and a future with this person. So I do feel like your next relationship is, um, you, you, it's a joyful celebration that you're celebrating together. Now this could also mean that maybe the two of you might meet as a joyful celebration here. So for some of you, it could be a brand new energy, okay, brand new energy that, you know, someone you've not met before, but I still get that sense of familiarity. I still get that sense of this person feels so familiar, like even upon you guys first meeting it's this instant attraction this instant connection you just feel like you've known this person all your life there's a sense of familiarity it'll be hard to for you to sort of explain or to even wrap your head around but it can be a soulmate okay it can be the fact that the two of you have a soul contract with each other okay and you both negotiated on this you know soul contract and you both it, it may have been that the two of you were previous, uh, the two of you were lovers, you know, romantically involved in a previous lifetime, and you've made a, a pact to find each other again in this lifetime. Okay, so it, for some of you, yes, it's this homecoming, so someone coming back to you in this beautiful energy where it feels like, you know, they're ready to step into this very joyful and harmonious energy. This is someone who wants to um really enjoy your time together here so someone who's returning home to you or someone very familiar it seems now i'm also picking up travel for some of you it's likely that maybe you might meet this person either online okay they may be from a different country such as yourself or from a very different religious cultural background here they could have been born overseas born to parents overseas here um, this is someone who might be in your country uh, like staying in your country here you're part of the world on a working or uh, a visa here um, or they could also be um, They could also be it could also be that you might be doing long distance with this person because they live overseas for a while here I feel like this person is going to be a, a very strong healing energy in your life I feel like they're here to help you heal I feel like they will um, be a big part of your healing a, a journey okay um, I also see obstacles so I don't know if this if it's because you had obstacles Remember how we spoke about in the in the beginning about the two of you being robbed of the chance or the opportunity to get to know one another, the time, the space, or distance, or I don't know if these are upcoming obstacles. Like it, you know, the relationship might flow, not flow as not. Okay, 
your relationship might not flow as easily or smoothly as you want it to and that's not because there isn't enough you know richness of emotions between the two of you it's not that it's just that there's certain obstacles getting in the way here this is someone who's very secure this is someone who's coming across as a bit of an older energy as yourself someone than yourself someone very established they do have a very masculine energy to them that they are coming across as a bit of an alpha or someone just very much in control of who they are here um very i'm gonna say quite wealthy okay or very financially independent very just secure here they're going to provide you with a lot of stability okay so this is you if you haven't come from a very stable upbringing um, if you haven't had a lot of stability in your life this person is going to change that for you or otherwise, if this is their energy, if this is someone who grew up in a very unstable home, they're going to want to change that for themselves and for the future of, you know, their, um, potentially their children. So they will do everything in their power to, pro you know, this is a provider, they will do everything in their power to provide you with a home, a happy home, a lot of stability, you know, financial stability, a lot of stability with emotions and with your relationship here. This is someone who is part of your destiny, okay? And I feel like this is someone who is destined to cross, you're destined to cross paths with. This is a very beautiful connection here. This is, it feels very soul-like here. This is someone who I feel like you're, you've never loved this way and you've never been loved this way, okay? Um, and this is someone who I feel like is very enlightened and spiritual and you they will see you as a blessing and you will see them as a blessing and they will just come right in the right time here. So in part two of this reading, guys, we are going to explore the details, um, the reading itself in a little bit more detail here. Um, maybe we'll see if we can get a bit of a more time frame as to when you might um, meet this person, when they might enter your life and just see what kind of, you know, what will your future be like? Will there be children depicted in the future or, you know, what is the future of this connection? And how I feel like there's such a healing energy and I just feel like something about this is so destined. So let's go ahead and explore those details in part two. And that's going to be made available via the extension link below. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for your time, your energy and your attention. If you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.